Hey everyone, it's Bazza here from Living in Beta. Today we'll be taking a look at one of Elden Ring's many hidden areas, the Frenzied Flame Prescription. This is a cool area with a creepy atmosphere and chilling backstory. We'll be showing you how to access the area, what lies within, as well as a tip for those who regret their decision to embrace the madness. Let's get into the video. To access the area, you will need to have explored the subterranean shunning grounds underneath Landell, the royal capital, as well as defeat Moog, the omen. Moog will be found at the end of the Shunning Grounds dungeon. For convenience, we'll go through the quickest route to get to the boss. Starting at the underground roadside site of Grace, take a left and drop down the grate in the floor. Once below, head forward and swing right into the pipes. Take care here, as there's slugs as well as holes in the ground. It's best to use a light source like the lantern if you have it to illuminate the area. Follow the pipes around taking two rights. You'll head through a grate with two slugs that will jump out from the right. You can either roll or bait them out. When you exit the pipes, you'll see a ladder with an enemy at the top. Simply run towards the ladder and begin climbing. The enemy should jump down and cause you no further aggro. Head through two sets of double doors and then take a left. You'll need to carefully drop down to the platform below. Follow the stairs down and then take a right before following the path forward. Drop down by the staircase and take the path back into the pipes. Hang a right and head up the slope. Be careful here as there are enemies including basilisks. Take a right and then another, following the path around to a ladder. At the bottom of this ladder will be some mimic pots, which shouldn't be aggressive. On the right you'll see a lift, which will take you down to the site of grace just before the boss fight. Once you've defeated Moog, roll or attack the altar towards the back of the boss room. This will reveal a secret passageway. The next area you'll come to is a descending catacomb filled with corpses of merchants as well as several who are still kicking dotted throughout the descent. You can follow the planks down or simply drop to the planks below. If you're looking to collect the items, these are inaccessible, so you'll need to bait out one of the frenzied merchants into attacking you near the debris to clear it, allowing you to access the items. The route down can be a crapshoot, Precise jumping sections aren't really Elden Ring's strong suit. My advice is to take it slow and take your time to line up each jump. Feel free to follow my route in this video. Some of the jumps you can simply backstep or run and drop onto, as a normal jump can risk overshooting the platform. After you've been battered like a human pinball, you'll reach much needed solid ground. Be careful here, as there are more merchant enemies which can use the Flame of Frenzy incantation. This can quickly build up your frenzy meter and take you out, forcing you to redo the dreaded jumping section again. If you're looking to grab the items, as previously mentioned, lure the enemies and bait out the Flame of Frenzy to clear the debris near each item. You'll eventually come to the end of the descent. The only thing that's left to do is one more leap of faith. Drop down and break through the flooring to reach the Frenzied Flame Prescription Site of Grace. Before getting into the main event, it's worth noting that there's a couple of illusory walls in this room. Break them down to receive a rune arc as well as another entrance to deep root depths. There's one last, really important thing to mention before proceeding. If this is your first playthrough, meeting the Flame of Frenzy will lock you into the Lord of Frenzy ending, unless you complete Millicent's quest and beat Melania. This will give you the required item, Michaela's Needle, which can be used at Dragonlord Placidus Axe's boss arena to subdue the Flame of Frenzy. Melania is considered one of the hardest bosses in the game, so make sure you're happy before proceeding. With that final warning out of the way, take a rest at the Site of Grace and then strip down to your birthday suit. It's time to meet your new three-fingered friend.
So that's the Flame of Frenzy, something which can change the outcome of your entire playthrough. Let us know in the comments if you chose the Lord of Frenzy ending and why. We'd love to have a chat about all things Elden Ring. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from us. As always, we'll catch you in the next one.